as you guys can tell by the title, yes, I'm getting a BBL. Um. um let me just tell y'all i'm like i don't even know where to start like i'm just so i'm not nervous i'm more excited than nervous um it's just so all right so let me tell you so first shout out to lux recovery because i booked with them i booked my surgery through them and everything it was a smooth process and excuse my daddy has glasses but i had a date with dr hugo for august 24th which would be next week they posted that they had a date available for the doctor I wanted to go to, so boom, I messaged them, I paid a fee, and I'm not going to say what that fee is because it's not going to be the same for everybody. So we're just going to keep it at that. I paid a fee for the squeezing, and boom, I got my surgery date, but guess what, y'all? I leave in a day. Yes, so I leave in legit 42 hours. <laughs> from now like it's insane like y'all don't even understand and then with this whole COVID situation still going on i'm trying to find somewhere that can get me a pcr test in time for me to leave on time so it's just a lot going on and the crazy thing is i was planning to film this coming thursday my you know what when i'm packing to bring my bbl because i did a lot a lot of research also i know a lot of people who have had their bodies done so i knew i feel like i got a good list of what to bring and what's necessary and what's unnecessary plus my recovery house is so dope that if i'm missing anything they'll go grab it for me that's cool but um i legit leave in two days which is bizarre um am i ready yes i'm just ready to get it over with. i'm ready to wake up in my faha girl like snatched you know <laughs> this is something like i really always wanted before bbls became a whole i don't even know like an epidemic like everybody's getting bbls now i wanted this because i know my body so i got these for the 99 cent store i'm gonna bring my regular slides these are just for showering purposes when i go on vacation and stuff like that and I know other people that's not my family is showering in it. I just feel nasty. So I wear shoes in the shower. I mean, of course, I take it off to scrub my feet. But I'm just saying, like, I got a pack of razors. I am hairy like a motherfucking werewolf. Okay? So my legs. I got two paste, two brushes. Now, I got to stay out there for two weeks i'm staying a little over two weeks so that me and my friend could come back together i might leave her out there i might not we'll see i got dow soap because dow is an antibacterial soap so palmer's cocoa butter lotion just the classic you know gotta have it to moisturize the skin i want to also get some almond oil but whatever so i got some panty liners don't know why oh i'm currently on my menstrual that's another thing i have to take a lot of iron pills and eat like steak and stuff because i leave in two days and i leave in a day and i want my hemo to be really high when i go into surgery so but for right now i have i brought panty liners for like the plane ride and stuff like that because i should be like done basically but you know you always got to keep something on the check so i got these um regular t-shirts there was $1.99 so I got one two three I got three of them two black and one gray they had other colors but my aunt said to try to keep it dark for my first couple days because I'm gonna be bleeding so I got all of these in an extra large I'm lying I got two extra large one black one gray and extra large and then one large black I'm filming
this tote bag. I didn't want to bring no design or nothing, so I brought this tote bag from H&M. Alright, y'all, so I look crazy. Like, I mean, oh my god, I look crazy. But, <laughs> period. I have another Tina doll here, and she's really, really sweet, and we're both from New York, so that, you know, period. it's late. But, we went to go get out. Well, I went to go get my labs done today. They woke her up for no reason. No but reason she arrived at die because she stayed. No reason at all. You feel me? So, I got my labs done. And now, yes. yes, we went to the pharmacy to get um some stuff that I forgot at home or didn't fit me. Now we're here getting my faja. The empanadas, natural juice. Um, they have mango. You the mango? Oh yeah. Um, and for me, pineapple. As you can see, I wasn't prepared for this, but we're going to Crystal Ray. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Oscar. Oscar? Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so I'm on my way to Dr. Seri to get my teeth done. And I'm with my driver, Oscar. Say hi, Oscar. Say hi to you too. Hi. <laughs> so, um, my appointment's at 2 o'clock and it's 1.14. I'm supposed to take me the whole hour to get there. But we'll see. I'll let you guys know. I'm super excited. Oh my god, I just look so yellow, but I just got here and she's about to do my cleaning. Let me show you guys the view. So she just cleaned my teeth. Alright y'all, so I think she got the big white teeth. Good morning, y'all. So, I'm sorry, I was looking aside. It's the morning of my surgery. It's like 6 o'clock, 6 30. Um, my surgery got on. So, I didn't get it over with. I don't know what this pain might be like, but beauty is pain. Marked up. I look crazy. <laughs> but I'm marked up. And ready to go. See y'all on the flat side. I'm probably not gonna pick up the camera until I get back to the recovery house because in post op, I don't think they give you back your stuff until you're ready to go. I'm at. I know I got y'all with the tea or whatever. But so far, so good. I love it. I love the way he marked me up. And I just can't wait. Hips and projection. I have a little butt. It's there. It is. But I never had the projection I wanted. I'm excited. My eyelashes look crazy. I got a whole gap. But it's okay. Can I hear to be cute? I'm here to get this thing thing in. Okay. Surgery, but 
They kept me for three hours and post up because I don't know why I peed right away. Literally, as soon as I woke up, I peed. But they said I had to wait. My doctor, the peanut, he's so nice. Dr. Peanut is so nice. I feel okay though. Like, I don't feel, I'm not in excruciating pain. post up and today I found out somebody stole from me I don't know who it was so I can't say who it was but I'm trying hard to relax because my body is so sore but it was a lot and I feel like I can talk about it another time but I just wanted to come and update before I forget because I didn't check in on my first day post up, my first day post up, I got a massage. My first massage, I cried a little towards the end. It wasn't that bad, but towards the end, I felt like she was touching my bones and my, I don't know. I just felt like my skin was open. It hurt really bad. But other than that, everything is fine. I'm just trying not to think about my money being lost because. Every time I think about it, my body go through the motions of more pain. I don't really know how to explain it, but nothing I would wish on nobody, honestly. But I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Yeah. So, I got on my phones, and my stay's too far. I'm really, really swollen still. But, um, what I was coming in to tell y'all, oh, this is 24. So that was a four day post out. Still really sore in a lot of places. Um, I need to start taking my muscle relaxes more often. I haven't been taking those. See if that helps. I'm here at the clinic, by the bathrooms. And we in to see the doctor for my checkup appointment. So you can make sure everything is healing good and I'm looking good. Um, let me try to show y'all my back. My butt. Can't even really see it. But I'm swollen as hell. We had to sit here for like an hour. I'm just open it. I'm ready to go. I have one on like both ones. Those were sewn up, stitched up, I mean. So those are not what they strain me out of when I do my massages. I got two down here by my hoo-ha that are not stitched up, that they open and drain me out every day out of. I got one in my belly button, like up there, that they open up and they drain me out of as well. Two right here by my breast, right under my breast. Um, those are stitched up. I'm not even trying to turn around because I can't. Well, actually, I got one on each side under my butt. Um, the ones in my hoo ha is also what he used to go into my inner thigh light bulb. And he also did like by my armpit, which is really sore as well. I did not get arm light bulb. I, was, I wanted to, but when he saw my arms, he said no. My teeth still feel abnormal to me. I want to get them shaved down a little bit more. Because I just feel like, like <laughs> they still feel weird and it's been days, so I'm gonna just eat regular. Like, I've been eating to get on my cracker tooth or something. This is me swelling as hell. Look how far I did my skin. 
like it's so tender. I don't even understand. <laughs> Your skin is so sensitive after this procedure. And I have sensitive skin, skin already. So like you see these lines. Yeah, see that? All of that is why it hurts me to sit down and everything. This incision is just like, I need to put some more nail spawn on it. I'm gonna ask them if they have gauze. I can put a gauze there, so when I bend this stuff, it's not, see like it's getting pinched by the fire. I don't like that. Alright y'all, so, you must so it's day 25, and it's getting crazy in this house, like, but mad weird shit is going on. I don't like it. I'm not even supposed to be cursing on YouTube, but I don't like what's going on. I just got my massage and got a bath and all that good stuff. Um, look, I got ab boards on. I'm so compressed right now. Like, OD compressed. Um, this recovery house show since I've been here. But, I mean, like, Whatever, it is what it is. I'm just here to recover. And I'm gonna get back to New York. Um, I gotta write the dentist to go back and get my teeth shaved a little bit more. Cause I feel like I just talk with beer teeth. All you see is teeth. Day six, post stop both of them. What day are you? Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, wait. Four. Oh, wow. Day four, yeah, post stop. Day four, wow. day four wow. post stop. Wow. And we chilling in Leah. Still didn't get surgery yet, but <laughs> loading. Oh, Afia. Yeah. Day two, no. post stop. Is what's today's date? Twenty six. Bro, I can't wait to have sex with this boy. What? On my vlog? Oh, so now I'm in a bedroom with my friend. I'm sharing a bed with her. Feel so bad for her because we gotta share. Bed. You gotta explain that situation. Like but. We'll explain that later. Right now, she's here giving a lymphatic massage to her roommate. And she's doing a pretty good job. This is fucking crazy. I'm next. I'm next. I'm next. I'm next. Just shave down a little bit more on my corners. Um, and get my my mouth guard made. So oh, I'm the power in the recovery house went out last night because of a storm. They had a generator for a little while, and then it went out again. And ever since then, it's been out. Um, so the girls is at the house right now with no power, no. Yes, I believe in the water. Um, yeah, it's really scary. I look crazy, don't mind me. I'm sorry. I just, I'm so over this. Like, I'm ready to go home. Yeah, this is, this makes me so mad. Hopefully, I can get my massage when I get back in the house. Oh, I already feel that. I'm like,
not even trying to be dramatic, but like somebody stole three K from me, and people are trying to make it seem like I'm lying. Like, bro, I'm not even gonna give it to on this channel. My channel, I want to say full positivity. <laughs> so I haven't been vlogging the last couple of days because I just been over it, ready to go home. I didn't do much. I've been doing the same thing every day, just eating three meals, doing absolutely fucking nothing. Um, but now it's the second. This is my second time at the airport today. My flight had got delayed. Mm -hmm. See, my flight had got delayed because it was a hurricane in New York. Um. So now we're finally, I thought like we were supposed to be at 12, then I got pushed back to 1 a.m., then I got pushed back to 2.30 a.m., then I got pushed back to 3.30 a.m., then I got pushed back to 7 a.m., so we ended up going back to the recovery house, they dropped us off again, and um, yeah, now I'm here at the airport in my wheelchair assistance. So we landed, finally it's 2 o'clock, waiting to go through passport control.